Hi everyone, I'm Esther Kovac, co-founder of Drone Talks, and here at Amsterdam Drone Week, I'm talking with my favorite person in the drone ecosystem. You know, it's not just a luck. He's uh, he's a regular, you know, visitor at our show. You know, you're Bukin my Hilly. favorite person. <laughs> yeah, what about Lorenzo? You know, I don't. He's know my him. favorite person because yeah, he waves his hands a lot more. Yeah. So, you know, finally, a person who is more controversial than myself, you know, they always judge me and telling me at the panels I'm too controversial. Too honest. Yeah, they told me just now, and I'm like, you should speak with Bobby Healy, you know, like if I'm too controversial. So, Bobby, what's new? What's new at your side? New. Uh, we announced last week in Washington with my green shoes uh, that we're launching our Texas first pilot project in the USA, in Texas. And we announced our strategic uh, partnership with Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola are now an investor in our business. Oh, wow. So those were our two big announcements last week. We like to have an announcement every week <laughs> um, because we love making announcements. Uh, so that's big news for us that we're going to the USA. And then, you know, every, everything is growing for us in terms of our operation in Dublin. We're now doing about 300 deliveries a day. We're going to announce our new town in Dublin, which is 100,000 people. We'll be doing 1,000 deliveries a day, between 500 and 1,000 deliveries a day. Um, so we're still not, not ready to scale, don't want to scale, but demonstrating more and more capability and throughput. And this year, uh, we think we're the first company to be able to say this, but we would be profitable at the flight level. So oh, wow. we will make more money than we spend on every flight, which is a very, very important milestone for us as we think about scaling across the rest of Ireland and even parts of Europe. And um, we obviously don't want to be burning our investors cash with every delivery. So huge milestone for us and uh, thankful to Lorenzo for <laughs> enabling a big part of that. And of course, to IASA, yeah. IAA that have been partners for us. And literally, we, we think now, end of this year, early next year, we're going to be leading uh, in terms of our ability to generate profit from selling hamburgers. So, I have a few questions on it. Like, did you call Pepsi and said like, hey, you know, jump on the, sh on the moving ship or you are out of it, you know? Yeah, I, can, no. I can see this like you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, so. I'm a Coca-Cola person myself. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so we're not exclusive. We don't have any exclusive relationships with anyone. So, and a lot of our partners uh, would already have relationships with Pepsi. Uh, so we're not, I mean, our relationship with Coca-Cola they see the future. They know that drones, you know what, drones are going to be delivering to every single suburban house in the world in the next 10 years. So they want to be part of that. So it's, it's, it makes sense for them to both invest in that future and support it to their investment, but also to, to, to kind of get, I would say, at the front of the queue exactly. for when we do start to scale. And and I, I, think it's, I actually think it makes a lot of sense for a big brand like that to start think about how would they get straight to consumers' houses and bypass a lot of the traditional forms of doing that. So it makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't need to be exclusive. I mean, I think you could ask Coca-Cola and they would recognize that, you know, they, they don't expect to be a monopoly. And they also have a very important coffee brand. And most people don't know that, but they own the Cafe Vergnano brand, an Italian coffee, which again, probably because of Lorenzo in some way, uh, but it's a high quality coffee brand and coffee is 30-40% of our delivery yeah. order. So coffee we see is a very important uh, thing and, and having a big brand like that, a big operator that has the infrastructure, digital infrastructure that Coca-Cola have, uh, it's, a, it's a good endorsement for us, I think. And it's not just for us, it's endorsement for drone delivery. Yeah. This is the biggest, one of the biggest food brands or FMCG brands in the world recognizing that the future is going to have drone delivery. I agree. You know, I can see the Christmas advertisement. It always came with a truck. You <laughs> Santa Claus was fired, by the way. Bad news for all the children out there. <laughs> Coca-Cola fired Santa Claus no. and they replaced him with drones. I think I, 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 we must see this uh, this year in Christmas time, you know. Yeah. So the other question, why Texas? Like just out of interest, you know, the US is so big. Did you see them more innovative? Yeah. Did you see them open-minded? Why did you? We yes. want to demonstrate that our drones can carry bigger, bigger stakes than okay. anyone else's drones. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, look, 
we, we spoke to a number of states and we had a number of really good positive conversations with, with, with a bunch of states and to be honest with you, they're all equally enthusiastic about bringing drone delivery. Not every state, yeah. but like we spoke to seven or eight different states and they all wanted to help us set up an operation, make it easy for us with local regulations, all that stuff. At the end of the day, the, the, the difficult part of the, the USA, as we know, is getting some form of scalable operations through regulation, which is just not there yet. It's just not in the same place as Europe is. So we looked at Texas because our, our partner there, Hillwood, is part of the Ross Perot um, conglomerate. So it's a very powerful uh, business and, and what I would say political lobby in Texas that can get things done quickly. Yeah. And so as a partner for us to just make it easy for us to operate, um, they're very important. And, and practically, we, you know, we live in Ireland and Dublin, not the best connected part of the world. So there's only one flight from Dublin to Dallas. And that actually was part of our decision. And, and the other states we looked at may have been equal or better or, or in and around Texas, but there wasn't direct flights. And for what we're currently doing, we want it to be convenient. So Texas and, you know, not a bad place to be either. No, so I think it's a message to the people. You must have a direct flight between Ireland yeah. and your location. Otherwise, Bobby Healy not going to deliver well, Coca-Cola. Most people don't realize that Ireland is the capital of the world. Uh, to be honest, I love Irish yeah. uh, style, people, <laughs> yeah. pub system, you know. Uh, Great place to test drones as well. Yeah, yeah, no, and, uh, you know, it's a dream. Like, yeah. I, I love him. So, okay, so I think what's next? Now you go to Texas, you have Coca-Cola. <laughs> so it, I feel like you're taking over the world here, you know. So um, what do you see as a next, you know? Um, I think the sensible thing uh, for us is continue to demonstrate what we're doing, continue to educate um, different markets on what's going to be involved and how it'll all work. And our, our plans this year are one more European market uh, to open a small project yeah. in one more market. And we, we know where that is. We haven't announced it yet, but one more European market. Um, we're going to an even bigger population in Ireland, so about 100,000 people will serve. We want to do about between 500 and 1,000 deliveries a day in Ireland to kind of demonstrate the throughput that we can achieve. We want to reach profitability at a location level to demonstrate that the economics of the operation, even under existing regulations, can be profitable. So we'll do all that this year. And so, so long as we do that well, then our plan is to pretty pretty large rollout in Ireland. So about 500 aircraft operating commercially in Ireland. And then we'll see, it, it depends on, honestly, it depends on the, the environment for raising capital. But our, we would like to open up three or four European markets next but year. But do you see the appetite from, from the investors, you know, to yeah. keep investing into drone uh, innovation or now it's yeah. a little bit stopped after the first waves, you know? I think, or like, I, I think it, the appetite has never changed. The parameters and the filter have changed. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. whereas before everyone wanted to invest lots of cash to deploy, they still have lots of cash to deploy, but they're not deploying it for irrational yes. businesses, right? So, yeah. no one wants to invest in a business that does a million deliveries a day if, exactly. it, if you lose money in every delivery. So, we need to get to rational businesses that are always investable. So, that's why our focus is, is on generating a profit on our operation so that we said, look, if we can generate whatever the profit is in this one location in Dublin, let's do that in 500 locations and we need $100 million yeah. to do that. Just, you know, it, duplicate. That's, that's yeah. easy, yeah. yeah. It's easy if, if the number has a positive sign on it, it's easy, right? You multiply a positive number, you get a positive number. You multiply a negative number, you get a negative number. So investors, I think rightfully, are only investing in rational businesses now. So it's for us to prove that we can generate a profit, which we will do this year. And then I think I'd be pretty confident that the, the environment will be good for us. And I hope for the whole industry and for us that we can do that because if we're successful early next year in start to scaling in a profitable way, I think that's gonna, the light shone on that is gonna show everyone it's not rocket science. It's actually, so long as you do it within the right regulatory framework and you're safe and responsible, it's now, we can start building big business now with drone delivery. And so that's next for us is, we're literally one more step away from being a real business. 
I think this is a good closure saying it's now, you know, this is what I try to strength now, the regulation is out, now you can do it and Bobby is doing it. So, you know, I'm always saying to the people, maybe now start to not point on other things, but do your own, you know, yeah. a business as Bobby does, you know, so I really like this approach, you know, you just do it and uh, sharing it yeah. with us is very beneficial, I think. Thank you so much. It was Bobby. a pleasure. As always, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.